Talk, talk, saucy kid, drip, don't they call me drip, God? Uh, groupie hoes up on me, but I only fuck on bras. What's good, YouTube? It's Morgan TV, and I am back with another banger for y'all, man. And in today's video, I got something special for you guys. I know that you guys have been waiting on, and I know a lot of people would really like to know. So I'm gonna give y'all a secret and let y'all know what I do and how to do it, all right? So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to unyellow any type of soul and every type of yellow soul. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys smash that like button, also hit that subscribe button down below, turn on post notifications so you are notified every single time that I upload a new banger cause you don't wanna miss it, I'm trying to tell you. Moving on, I'm about to show you guys the things that you will need to do this. Number one, the first thing that you're gonna need is the solution. Now this is so bright, Angela's solution. You guys can see that right there. It's from Angelus and it's called So Bright, as you can read. So pretty much this this is really gonna come in handy. So this, it removes oxidation, restores yellow soles and mid soles, which is good. So whether or not if it's got icy soles or it's just the mid soles that are yellow, like on some forces, you can clean them up with this. Make sure you have this. I got this off of Amazon for I think $7, around $7. And it's called Angelus So Bright. Next thing you guys will need is just some regular saran wrap. You'll need this to put on your shoes after you apply the solution. So just get some regular saran wrap or plastic wrap anywhere. It doesn't matter what brand or what kind. Just some plastic wrap. So there goes step number two. The next item you will need is a paintbrush to apply the solution onto your shoes. So make sure you have a little paintbrush. It doesn't have to be, you know, like this. The next thing you will need is obviously the shoes. So as you guys can see with these the bottom right there is completely yellow and i don't wear these anymore because the bottom right here is yellow so we're going to take these yellow dirty beat up ugly old looking shoes to some fresh white new ones so now that you got your shoes i'm going to show you the next step that you will need now this step is not required but if you do have any type of shoe i would advise you to clean the shoe before you do this process so i got right here the shoe mgk the MVP res Respect Your Shoes box. My sister actually gave this to me just yesterday, which I thank her so much. Because I actually needed some cleaning supplies. And she came in clutch right in time. So shout out to you if you're watching this. Thank you for this. But yeah, so in here we have two cleaner and conditioner bottles. A touch-up white, which is like little paint. We won't be using that today, but we will be using the cleaner and conditioning. And we have water and stain repellent and it comes with a little brush as well so i'm gonna go ahead and clean my shoes up real quick before i apply anything to them just so i know that it's on a clean surface and it can do its job the right way so let's go all right so like i said make sure that you wash your shoes before so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take this little mgk shoe cleaner and i'm gonna wash the bottom of my shoes so i'm gonna show you guys that step right now so let's do it Now that you have the shoe pretty much cleaned up, you can see I got the bubbles on it from where I was washing it. So you want to get it pretty good, lather and scrub it pretty good. Not too hard, you want to make sure that your brush is not too hard because you will mess up your material, like scratch it or you may even the paint come off. So just make sure you're not doing it too hard with a hard brush. But anything will work, like a toothbrush or anything like that. But yeah, you want to get it like thick, just like this, lather it up, and just clean it really nice. Now we're going to clean these off and I'm going to show you the actual process.
Now that they're all dried off, we're gonna go ahead and apply the solution. Now what we're gonna do when we apply the solution, we're gonna make sure that we get it pretty well coated. You don't wanna put too, you don't wanna put too much, but then again, you don't wanna put not enough. So you wanna make sure that it's enough to, you know, actually treat the shoe. We're gonna go ahead and apply the solution on there. So you're gonna need to take your little paintbrush or whatever you're using, or a toothbrush. You can really use either one. I'm just gonna use a paintbrush today just cause. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, open this up right here. You can see the solutions in there. It's like a white kind of coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in there real quick. And you wanna lightly apply it to your shoe. Now that we have the solution on the soles of the shoe, as you can see, I put it all the way around pretty evenly. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and apply that saran wrap that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. So you want to lay the saran wrap down on a flat surface, or you can just put it on the shoe, but I like to do it this way. So now we're just going to lay the shoe right on top of it and take the saran wrap and wrap the shoe. I'm actually going to put another piece on top just so I can be on the safe side. So now we have this shoe pretty much all the way wrapped. You're going to take this and go ahead and let it sit outside. Now, depending on how yellowed your shoes are, it depends on how long you're going to leave them outside. So with these, I'll probably leave these for about two hours and go check on them. Make sure you keep checking up on them just so your shoes don't get like, if it's really hot outside, you can get sole separation. So just make sure that you keep checking on them and making sure that everything's good with them. So for right now, I'm going to go set these guys outside and let them sit. So it's been like 30 minutes and I decided to come check on them real quick. So this is what they're looking like right now. They're looking actually pretty white from like where I'm seeing it, but it may just be, be because of the sun. But so far, it looks like it is working. I mean, on the side, I'd say when you put them, once the top, the actual bottoms is done whitening, I'd say to go ahead and flip them over so it can get the actual sides on this side. So I'm going to keep it just like this for probably another 30 minutes, maybe another hour, and then I'm going to come out here and flip them on their side. So that way they can get white all the way around. All right, you guys, it is now like five, six hours later. Just got off of work, as you can see. So I got both of the shoes right here. They look like they it did work and they got a lot brighter than they were. But obviously while they're in this saran wrap, you can't really tell too much. So I'm about to go take this off and I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. It looks like they did work pretty well. Um, they look a lot better than they did, most definitely. So I'm about to take them out of the saran wrap and I'm gonna wash them one more time just to get all that solution off of them. And I'll show you guys the final look. So 
So as you guys can see, they look a million times better than what they did look like, man. Literally, you can't even tell that they were yellow whatsoever. On the bottoms, they're 10 times cleaner than what they were. The inside as well, I flipped them while they were out there, so. The entire shoe, man, everything on it is just like icy white now, bro. It's crazy. I'm really happy because I can actually wear these again. Like, I've been waiting to. But as you guys can see, man, that worked really well. You can see how good that worked. But yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and take the wrap off of this one. Then I'm going to go ahead and give them a quick wash down and they'll be ready to go. So as you guys just seen, I just showed you guys how these boys look and they are crispy clean, crispy white. You can't even tell they were ever yellow. This solution really worked really well. So once again, bro, shout out to Angela, so bright. They really got me right, no cap. So make sure if you guys need to get any of your shows white and clear, icy again, make sure you check out Angela, so bright. Like I said in the beginning, I got this off Amazon for about $7. So it's really great to be seven dollars and it did an amazing job as you could tell if you look from the beginning to the end it's a big difference make sure you guys check them out i'll leave a link to them in the description down below i will also leave a link down in the description for the mgk shoe cleaner kit which i'm in i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you smash that like button also hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications so you don't miss a video every single time that i upload I got a lot more videos coming out very soon. Leave a comment down below telling me what you guys want to see me do, no matter what it is. I like to restore shoes. I can restore shoes. I can paint shoes. I can customize shoes. Literally anything you want to see, I can do. So make sure you leave it down in the comment section down below, and I'll get that done for y'all. But without further ado, it's Mama TV, and I'm um, out. Talk, talk, saucy kid drip. Don't they call me drip, God? Uh, groupie hoes up on me, but I only fuck on broad.